everybody. My name is Major Skills, and I'm bringing you guys some Battlefield, of course, but uh, it's the uh, Bat Company 2. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it, actually. I don't know how many people will actually watch this, but uh, I hope a lot. Uh, I really do enjoy this uh, game. I have quite a few more, uh, more videos I, I want to put up that I probably will eventually. It won't be back-to-back -back days like tomorrow. I will not be posting it up. I have a lot more gameplay actually. I'm surprised how, how much gameplay I actually got. But uh, I've been playing this game like three days back-to-back -back, and I just hope you guys enjoy. And uh, I, I thought I thought you guys would want something different. That's probably why I'm doing it. And uh, another reason is because uh, today's topic is actually going to be uh, about what got me into Battlefield. And of course, Bat Company 2 is what actually got me into Battlefield. And uh, it actually made me want to play the Battlefield 3 beta. Like at first, uh, I didn't even want to do with anything with Battlefield or anything like that. Uh, I didn't really like it like, uh, like as much as Call of Duty because I was a big fan. But I'll explain all that later on. And... Uh, and I've been a Battlefield fan, like not a huge fan, but I have been a fan ever since Battlefield 2 Modern Combat came out. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember that game or not, but I really, really did love that game. Uh, I watched a lot of trailers to it. Uh, actually, I wanted it for Christmas. Whenever the year it came out, I wanted it for Christmas. I got it, and I played, I played it like a lot. And uh, this was actually the first Battlefield I have... Like, I've ever played, like, the first Battlefield ever I have played, because I don't own the PC or whatever. I don't even know what the first Battlefield was like or anything like that. But, uh, I, I know this was my first one. Um, I played it nonstop, like I told you guys. Uh, I, I thought it was an amazing game. I loved it. I don't know why. I, I just really, really did enjoy it. Um, it, it's one of those games where you enjoy, and uh, it's it's nothing can compare to it. Uh, I loved playing it because back then uh, I didn't have any multiplayer or anything like that, so I just played the campaign nonstop. Uh, I played it quite a few times actually, and uh, I just thoroughly enjoyed that game. I still do. I actually uh, bought it for the 360, and uh, and I just I love I love it. Uh, I don't. I don't play it as much <laughs> anymore because nobody plays it, and uh, and I just I don't I don't know the graphics get to me I guess I don't know, but at the time it was perfect, it was great, everything. But anyway, the uh, the next year Battlefield, well uh, it didn't come out the next year, but uh, ba the next Battlefield I uh, I played was Bad Company, the first one. And uh, and I also loved this game as well. It was a new way to play the game, and it was really fun to play. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I think it's better than uh, uh, Battlefield 2, but uh, the campaign was actually what made made it better than the second one. Mainly because it was really funny. I thought it was. I thought it was hilarious. The uh, the characters in it were hilarious. The uh, just the concept of the game was hilarious. And uh, and it was serious at the same time when it needed to be, which I really liked. And uh, that that's just me. And uh, in that game, something uh, you no, know, the game has done like, was uh, destructible areas, buildings, whatever you want to call it. But uh, you could destroy buildings for the first time in a game. Uh, I don't know if any other game did that before it, but that's the first one I know. That's mainly why I actually bought it. Um, I know I know I really bought it for that meant that main reason because uh, the trailers and all that stuff they advertised it. And all that, and it showed destructible buildings. I was like, yeah, I got, I got to get this, this game. And um, it might seem, it might not seem like much, but uh, destroying buildings is actually uh, amazing. I, th I thought it was amazing. Now, um, now of course they did make a bad company too. Of course, it's on your screen right now. But uh, but w which was just as serious and funny as the uh, the first bad company, which uh, I really did enjoy this campaign as well. Now, uh, now I did enjoy, enjoy it and all that stuff, and uh, they did add some new stuff to it, which I really enjoyed. Uh, they they brought in a lot of new things actually, and uh, they brought in some uh, like like uh, like the building, for example. Like you could destroy walls and all that stuff in the first one, sure, but uh, in the second one, you could destroy the whole entire building. They advertised that as well. They advertise that a lot, actually, and uh, that's what made me buy this game also, because you could destroy the whole building. No, I'm just kidding. That's not why I bought it. I bought it because I like the first one so well. I bought it, but uh, but I do like the concept where you can destroy whole buildings, and once you destroy the buildings, you can uh, you can actually uh, kill people in it. Because uh, now uh, now a little story besides this, I'm going off topic. But anyways, uh, my uh, me me and my friend, we were playing one day. Um, 
and, and Bad Company too, of course. And uh, all he would do, he he would be a sniper. And uh, the sniper in this game, of course, has C4. And just in case you guys did not know that, it, it had the sniper has C4. And all he would do, I, I would give him ammo, and he would he would just go around like he would set uh, C4 on walls and all, on the on buildings and stuff. And he he would watch he would watch a whole squad go in there, and he would just he would just blow it up, and it, it's just it's just really funny. He would blow it up and get like four kills and all that stuff. He was bragging about how he's on top of the leaderboards. Because he got so many kills of doing that. I mean, he would just go from building to building doing that until they were all gone. I thought it was just hilarious. Uh, I really enjoyed that time. But anyway, uh, that anyway, back on to Bad Company 2 and what they did new for this game. Uh, they also brought in uh, gun attachments, which uh, they had attachments on guns before. But you couldn't pick them. Like, uh, like I knew the uh, M4 or whatever it was called. Uh, it had like a... ACOG site where you couldn't change it at all and which I liked like uh, I, I like how you can change it actually and all that stuff and they brought in specializations and uh, new, new things like um, not like the patty cakes is what I, what I like to call them or uh, or the defibrillators is actually probably what I should say to you guys and uh, which is an amazing thing that they added in uh, they brought it back and they brought it to uh, Battlefield 3 also which uh, I love the medic class and all that stuff i really do i enjoyed how they did it they advertise that as well uh, i really do love love this game i really do it's probably one of my favorites of all time and uh, i'll actually bring you guys a uh, medic gameplay in, in a couple days probably like not tomorrow but probably in, like monday tuesday maybe i don't know but i will bring you guys some medic gameplay so i hope you guys are looking forward to that and um now this is actually the uh the game that got me into battlefield of course is what i I've already said now. Uh, I did love the the game, uh, but th I was never really like a humongous fan. Like I had to get them at next Battlefield. I had to, but at the time, at the time, I'm not anymore. I, I'm just gonna get that straight right now. At the time, I was a big Call of Duty fan like big time like whenever the next call of duty was coming out i already pre-ordered it like i was that big of a fan um i'm not anymore though um uh, but that that's just me but uh one, one day uh, i did not feel like playing like like i didn't not one day but uh but like three days in a row uh, i actually didn't play any games like at all for three days straight like i didn't play zilch, zilch nothing like at all no games whatsoever not even single player i just sat around watch tv and all and that's all i did i watched football and that's all i did for three days straight and uh mainly because i was pissed off at video games mainly because of call of duty that, that that's the main reason why i don't play it because the people who play it to just make me mad but that's a whole nother story but anyways um my friend uh actually that uh that did the c4 and all that stuff he uh he actually wanted me to play a game with him and, and it was uh, of course back company 2 and uh at first i didn't want to uh, i got online and all i did was sat on the dashboard because i owned an xbox i sat at the dashboard and uh, we, I invited him to a party, and we talked, and that's about it. And uh, and he he said, "You have that company too, right?" And I said, "Yeah, sure, I, I have it." And he said, "Do you want to play?" And I said, "Why not?" I mean, I I have nothing else to do. And uh, so I played with him, and uh, it was the most fun I have probably had in a long time at that period. And uh, it, it was just it was amazing. It was probably because uh, because we were always winning the games and uh, we were just having a good good old time. Um, not, nothing was necessarily making me mad or anything like that because that I mean I just got into the game. There's nothing to make me mad, and I just had a lot of fun. Uh, we played, we won, we played the objective. We were having fun. We were trying out these uh, new specializations and all that stuff. At the time, we didn't knew, know they were new and all that, but now we do. Uh, I don't know. I don't know really what what else there there was. I mean, just something hooked me to Battlefield. Uh, I don't know if it it was probably because it was fun and more objective. Because uh, I, I know in Call of Duty or whatever, uh, I actually played a lot of Domination, and nobody would play the objective. Like people still don't play the objective once I play. So uh, I guess that's why I do love playing the objective on any game mode. And uh, and and uh, 
actually, once the Battlefield 3 beta came out, I also played that with my friend. And uh, now that, that now uh, now I thought that uh, Battlefield 3 is uh, actually um, the best in the series, but uh, but that's just me personally, mainly because it's newer and revamped and all that stuff. But um, but that's just me. I think it's the best in the series. Uh, if you guys could let me know what you think is the best, maybe it's the first back company, maybe it's not, maybe it's the second one or the first Battlefield ever made. Uh, I don't know. I would like to hear your guys' opinions. But uh, but I did thoroughly enjoy the uh, Battlefield 3 beta. I really really enjoyed it actually, because I got to level 43 and uh, and there were only 50 levels and uh, I actually got in late with the beta. But um, but yeah, that, that's all I pretty much have for today. I hope you guys enjoy this uh, M16A3 gameplay and please don't forget to like favorite subscribe and uh, look for two more back company 2 videos and if you guys don't even like back company 2 videos and you like battlefield 3 videos better then just uh j there's uh, just go on my channel and there's uh, quite a few battlefield 3 videos commentaries that I have up there and I just hope you guys enjoyed this one I will be posting up way more uh, back company 2 videos just to give you different variety and I'll be posting up actually more um, different games actually uh, like Halo 4 or Dead Island something like that uh, any other games and I hope you just guys enjoy and peace